Hey guys, Gunnar Russ back once again. Well, welcome to a, another pickups video. I just brought Bentley on to come and say hello to you because he was itching to get up here. Say hello. Hello, say hello. The camera, what's that? Um, yeah, I've been really itching to show you guys the pickups I picked up. I've got a nice stack of PS3 games to show you. So please stick around and let's check out what I picked up for this week. So the first stack of games I've got to show you guys, um, I got through a deal through EB Games and um, thanks to Shano on YouTube for um, giving me the heads up on that, on this. Uh, they had basically three game, PS3 games for $12, which is very cheap over here um, in Australia. And I was lucky enough to pick up this title here, and that is Move Street Crickets. Now, this one, for those that don't know uh, much about um, the more rare sort of PS3 games, this is quite a rare title. Um, I have got both um, copies. I've got, well, I've got uh, Move Street Cricket and Move Street Cricket 2. And these are both Indian exclusive games. And now, to my knowledge, there's only three um, Indian exclusive games, one's called Ra One as well. But um, yeah, I managed to get this for $4, um, and it was absolute steal, and lovely and complete inside. Um, obviously they must have done a uh, typical sort of thing over here in Australia, they've the sticker over the top, but that is an exclusive Indian title. Um, so uh, if you're into your cricket, like myself, um, <laughs> I'm not sure how well these games play out. I wouldn't think they'd be that crash hot, to be honest but I'm um, very happy to have Move Street Cricket. The next title I picked up in that bundle was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Now, if you're collecting for the PS3, the Harry Potter games can fetch a little bit of money. Um, generally over here, you're probably looking at anywhere between $10 to $20, um, which is quite dear for a PS3 game nowadays, but uh, yeah, very happy to sign this one off. And the third game, unfortunately, um, because it was done online and you don't know what you're getting, it came in this generic, uh, horrible, horrible, horrible uh, case that uh, it has a printed Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. So um, basically it just has the game in there. So if anyone out there has the case um, and the manual they want to get rid of, um, for cheap, please um, you know, reach out to me, let me know, but I'm um, sure I'll probably just pick up another copy and use this disc for a trade. So, a little bit disappointing with that, but I can't complain. All in all, I've got all these games for $4 each, so I'm um, very, very happy. Next, this one here is an eBay purchase. I'm trying to get all of the Call of Duty games, I love Call of Duty, um, and trying to get all of them for the PS3. And this is like another sort of variant sort of pack as a collection, and it's a Call of Duty Modern Warfare collection. And this one has Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, and to my knowledge, it looks like it was, an, it was like an American um, exclusive. I could be wrong. It might have been released in Europe. If anyone knows, let me know. But um, yeah, beautifully and sealed. And got it for $10, which was absolutely steal in my opinion. Um, this one here is uh, Colin McRae Dirt. I didn't know I had this uh, game already. So now I have two copies. <laughs> Um, but now I have the Australian version, and I have this version here as well, so which looks like, like a, it's a power European version, so um, yeah, absolutely love the Dirt series, happy to have that one in the collection. This next one was probably one of the better pickups for, them, for the actual week, I'm very happy to have it, and this is the Dark Soul Black Armour Edition, and this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous steel book, because it has a beautiful slip cover there. And then I'll throw up a picture closely of this one here, but you just you have to you have to be here to see the detail, guys. But it's just, you can actually run your hands over it. And actually, it's like a three D sort of effect on there. Um, it's just an absolute beautiful steelbook that it comes with an official um, soundtrack as well, which is always lovely to have with you know really good games like this. Um, I've been told by many people I need to play this, and I definitely will, guys, at some stage. Um, I've had to order myself a basically a PS2 adapter for to go um, into my PS3 so I can use a PS2 controller because I'm finding that a lot of my PS3 controllers the batteries are starting to die now they get to that age and um, you know what I just don't feel like having to change batteries over so I'm going to try doing that anyway getting sidetracked <laughs> let's keep on to the pickups guys um, this one here I've been wanting for a long long time so happy to have it and that is Wolfenstein now, for those that don't know, it's just a great first-person shooter series. You know, guns blazing, Nazi action, World War II sort of stuff. 
with a bit of the old, you know, you know, uh, modifications in there as well, um, with futuristic sort of bits mixed in between. And this one is lovely and complete, and we will be looking at getting rid of that sticker at some stage when I do play it. So very happy to have that one. This one here, um, another variant off my list, and this one here is the Game of the Year edition of Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, what can I say guys, this series is fantastic. If you're a Batman fan, you would be kicking yourself not to play this game. Seriously, great, great series, and I'm very happy to have this one. Um, with the greatest hit, this is a greatest hits title, so with these ones you tend to get um, the red um, case instead of the clear one. And what a lot of people do with these actual red cases, which is a great idea, uh, you know, if you can pick up some of these ones for cheap, is they um, put their horror titles um, in these red cases, which is a really cool thing. I'm pretty sure I saw that um, first done by Radical Reggie, and I absolutely loved it. Um, great guy as well. Everyone should be subscribed to him. Um, next one here, so happy to have this one, and so happy to have it complete, is Cars 2. Now, Look at that guys, beautiful and complete. It's absolutely minty. I checked the disc out, there's no scratches whatsoever on it. Um, these are very hard to get hold of for cheap and complete as well. So if you see them out in the wild, they've got everything inside, pick it up. You know, even if you've already got a copy, sometimes you can use it as a good trade for another title. So if you're into PS3 collecting, definitely pick up games like this if you can find them. And this last one to finish off, nothing exciting guys, but I picked up and will be 12 the show. So, um, you know what, I really do enjoy playing baseball when I can, but never really got into watching it. Um, it's not a huge thing here in Australia, um, at the moment anyway, um, but I know over in Japan and US, it's, it is a huge sport, and you know, just, just happy to sign this one off as another sports title, so. We're at that stage at the moment where, um, in the collection, um, as it's getting quite bigger now, um, where you know a lot of the sports titles are the ones I need to try and fill now. So it's all very exciting, and the collection's building very quickly. All right, guys. As always, leave me a big thumbs up. Please, please leave some comments below. I love hearing what you guys have to say. I love being able to respond to you guys. So please do that. Um, if you've got a channel you want me to check out, please leave your channel below, and I will um, make it. Um, in my time to come and have a look at your channel um, and we'll check out some of your videos so please do that okay guys hope you have a great day see you later